Okay, let's solve some of these problems. Write down the wave equation. So that's literally V equals F lambda that we've been talking about. Okay. Question two says write down the units and symbols for velocity, frequency, and wavelength. So velocity is kind of like speed, but a little bit different, but basically kind of like speed. So velocity, sort of like speed, is the units for that is meters per second. So think about it. How fast are you going? How many meters are you traveling every second? Frequency is how many waves are traveling per second. So that is way number of waves, number of waves per second. The units that we give that is called a hertz. And the last one is wavelength. That is the length of a wave. So it's a measure of distance. So it is measured in meters and the symbol for that we give it is lambda okay so velocity the symbol for that I forgot to write is V the symbol for frequency is F and the symbol for wavelength is lambda okay so question three says um, what is the wave speed if all of these frequencies and wavelengths? So all of these are done in exactly the same way. So you go back to your original wave equation and you think to yourself, what do I know? What don't I know? And we've been using our little triangle. So we have our V on top. Sorry, we don't have V on top. Oh, we do. No, I made a mistake again. V equals F lambda. That's right. Yep. Okay, so we have our V on top. And then we say to ourselves, if we want to know V, I cover up the V and I see it's that it's F multiplied by lambda. So if I want the wave speed, I have to go each of these frequencies, each of these Fs multiplied by each of these wavelengths. Okay, so let's do that. I'll do a couple and then we'll you can do the rest and I'll just give you the answers. So um, for number A, um, V equals F lambda. You always start with the equation. You put in the values you know. F is 5 hertz. So you put 5 hertz. Then you put a multiply sign if that will help you. And then the wavelength is 1 meter. So you put in for wavelength over here, you put 1 meter. And so 5 times 1 is just 5, and the units for velocity is meters per second. So that is the answer to A. Now, we'll do, maybe I'll do B as well, and then I'll just give the answers. So again, same method. So V equals F lambda. I'm going to put in my known values. So, oh, that's an F. My F is 6 hertz. My lambda is 0 0.25 meters and so therefore 6 multiplied by 0 0.25 is just doing that on my calculator 1.5 so that's 1.5 meters per second okay so those are that those are the answers to those two i'm just going to rub it all out and put the answers to all of them Okay, so those are all the answers to question three. Make sure you check your work and see if you got it right. You can pause the video to do that here. Okay, now it gets to a little bit more challenging questions and it says you need to rearrange the equations. So all that, you, that means is you need to understand how to use the triangle. So if V is on the top, F and uh, wavelength is on the bottom, you need to know that to get from here to here, you have to divide, and to get from here to here, you multiply. So, what that means is, if I want to know what frequency is, I say frequency is velocity divided by wavelength. If I want to know velocity, I say velocity, you cover that up, frequency times wavelength. And if I want to know wavelength, I say cover that up, and so it's V divided by F. Okay, so that's what you need to know how to use. So. If I want to know the frequency, I know that I'm going to set up my equation. So for question um, 
Oh, well, sorry, I skipped question four. Let's do question four. So question four says rearrange the equation for frequency and wavelength. So frequency as the subject, how do I get frequency? I go V divided by wavelength. That's what that means. And how do I get wavelength as the subject? I cover the wavelength up and I get V divided by F. That's all that that means. Okay, now that we know that, we can answer question five easily. Okay. So question five says, um, we want to know the frequency. So frequency is what we want to know here. So I have to go V divided by wavelength. So I'm going to set that up, V divided by wavelength. And yes, it does matter. It always has to be V on top, wavelength on the bottom, because five divided by one is five, but one divided by five is a, a fifth. So they're very different numbers. So V has to be on top. It really matters. So now I plug in my values. So for A, F equals uh, V on lambda. For A, V is over here, five meters per second. And my lambda is, my wavelength is one meter. So I actually have a frequency of five divided by one, which is five. And the units for frequency are hertz. Or if you wanted to figure it out a different way, seconds to the minus one. If that doesn't make any sense to you, just remember that the units for frequency are hertz and you'll be sweet. All right, uh, 5b goes, um, again, I wanna know frequency. So I, I go back to my triangle. It's the same thing as I've just set up over here. So V on wavelength, my uh, uh, V for 5b is 330 meters per second over here. And my wavelength is 0.01 meters. Don't let the decimals confuse you, okay? It just, it's just a smaller number. So don't let that confuse you. So 330 divided by 0.01, I just did that on my calculator, gives you 33,000. And then the frequency again is measured in hertz. So that's the answers for A and B. Now I'm going to go ahead and do C to F and you can check your work. Okay, I just stopped here for a minute because when I plugged the answer, oh, sorry, the values 0.1 over 80 into the calculator for question 5D, what I got was a number that said 1.25 times 10 to the minus 3. And I know that students are like, what is that number? All it means, this is called significant, sorry, scientific notation. And all it means, it's telling you how many zeros come here um, after the decimal point. So let me break that down for you. All this negative 10 times 10 to the negative 3 means, it means <clears throat> 1.25 is multiplied by 10, but to the negative 3. 3. So that means 0 0.00. .00 one. So have a look. There's one, one, two, three place values of 10. Um, so three decimal values of 10, I guess. And that's where that negative three comes from. So all that number means in written out fully just means 0 0.00125. If I were to write that out fully. Okay. So scientific notation is really important, but I know that some of you guys won't have done that yet in math. So please don't let that confuse you. It's just a really handy way to describe numbers that are really big or really, really small. Okay. So carrying on with the answers. So again, just to show you scientific notation, this number was really annoying to write out by hand. I had to write one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight zeros. So if I wanted to write that in scientific notation, all I would write is three times 10 to the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight power. That's what I would write. So that's three times 10 to the eight means this long number here. Look how much better that is. So that's what scientific notation means. It just takes a little bit practice, but it's not actually that complicated. You just have to practice it. And I forgot a zero just there. It's not good. 0 0.002 meters, which gives me a frequency of three times 10 to the power of eight divided by 0 0.02, 0 0.002 is 1.5 times 10 to the power of 9 hertz. Okay, see? Look how much better that is than writing 11 zeros out, okay?
So that's all that that means. All right, let's do question six. All right, I'm hoping you're getting a pattern here. You're understanding how to use this triangle. All right, remember, divided by, multiplied by. Okay, so now we want the, uh, the last variable, right? We've done speed, that's the V. We've done frequency, that's the F. Our last variable here is wavelength that we haven't done. Okay, that's the one that we're trying to do, and that's actually this one here. So that's what we're trying to do today. Uh, sorry, in that question six. So wavelength, the equation for wavelength is velocity divided by frequency. Okay, you can see that. It's V divided divided by F. So you should be able to, um, like, practice that. So question A, I've got my wavelength equals, that's what I'm trying to find out. My V is 2 meters per second. I'll just rub that out. You can see it. 2 meters per second. And my frequency is 25 hertz. So I'm going to go 2 divided by 25. That's going to give me 0 0.08. And my units for wavelength is what? It's a measure of the wavelength. So it is a measure of that, which is a distance. So it's meters. Now, for B, very similar. Wavelength is equal to V on F equals what have i got here v oh my v here they've swapped it around for me my v here is 0 0.1 meters per second and my f is 15 hertz so i'm just going to go 0.1 divided by 15 is going to give me oh look there's my scientific notation again some calculators might not have that and might put it as a whole like um, decimal so I'll write it both ways 6.6666666667 okay we're never gonna write that so even if you just write 6.6 .6, or if you're awesome at rounding and you know what rounding is you should actually probably write 6.7 times 10 to the minus 3 and what's the unit for wavelength meters now what that is in actual decimal form 0, 0.00 and that 6 is the third third decimal value so 0067 so if i were to write 6.7 i want to move that decimal place three locations to the left hand side so one would make it a 0.67 so i don't want one two would make it a point point oh six seven i actually have a three locations to the to the left hand side so how many zeros do i have there well actually two that's actually how scientific notation works so hopefully that makes it a little bit clearer so over here we've got um, our wavelength it's measured in meters so same thing all right once again i'll pause it and put the answers so you can check your work all right, so a couple of things. Um, over here, you'll notice that I decided to round that number and it's more than one decimal place. So you have to decide to your, for yourself like, what's a reasonable amount of decimal places to put um, in your answers. And I would say if I just chose one decimal place, it would be 0, 0.0 and that's not telling you anything. So I chose two significant figures here, two actual numbers. And if you notice here, I chose two numbers here. Um, that's, even though they're not significant figures, that's my bad, but usually I'll choose two significant figures to actually um, put. That's a, probably a good standard. So over here, you'll notice I decided to put in 10 time, times 10 to the power of six, rather than, you know, writing out six five zeros etc so that's my little um working out there and then what i get is 343 divided by 6.5 times 10 to the 6 that's a much more reasonable answer than putting that whole thing in two seven times 10 to the minus five oh look it's a very small number as a reasonably small number divided by a very big number is going to give you a really really small number and my wavelength is in meters all right that is that i'm going to do another video for the hard questions